ladies and gentlemen, because time is short and good information is needed for people to make the right decisions, I am putting out another video on what could be and will be Hurricane Michael because the GFS update has just come out and it has Michael making landfall about 10 a.m. on Wednesday as a Category 3 hurricane. And in the previous two videos, I said that most of the models said it was just going to be a Category 1 and only one model said it would be a Category 2. We now have the prospect of a Category 3 storm hitting Florida on Wednesday. And as the models tend to do, they get stronger in their predictions as the storm gets closer. So are, if you are in Florida, and we don't know where this is going yet, so everybody along the coast needs to be prepared. But right now, Florida, Alabama, you guys need to be making, getting prepared. Buy your water now if you intend to stay. Um, it's like, here's the, instead, because everybody runs at the last minute, buy the goods that you think you would use no matter what, like batteries, food, they'll eat, but see how none of the models, uh, see here, they didn't even have it reaching a cat too. Um, and I had said earlier, I thought it would be a cat three. And so it looks like the models are trending towards my guess. So, if it's going to be a cat, it's what I tell anyone, if it's going to be a cat 3 or higher, and you are anywhere near landfall, I would, evac at the right time, evacuate. We don't know where it's going now, so you're going to have to wait properly, but you do not want to be there in 2018 if a major hurricane is going to be hitting your area. This ain't your granddaddy's weather. Everything is new and improved in bad ways. So, this would affect the panhandle, areas like Destin, Miramar. And so, once again, we may see the models trend higher and higher up until landfall with their rain rainfall rates, storm surge, and wind speeds. I mean, a Cat 3 hurricane would bring a lot of destruction. We're talking over 100 mile per hour winds and 10 to 20, you know, 9 to 12 feet of storm surge. So, you know, that's 962. So that's a Cat 3 now. And so, I want you, we're less than 100 hours away. And so the next 24 hours and 36 hours are going to be extremely important. We don't want to lose any lives. And every single storms, when lives are lost, they could have been prevented. And another thing I say with each storm, if you are middle class or lower rich class and you know friends or family, that are in the danger zone, that can't afford to evacuate, please do what you can to help them as an American, as a human being, as a Christian, as whatever you are, that this is the time we all have to work together. We, have been, this will be the fifth hurricane hit on the United States in the last 13 months. So now is the time for us to work together. And look at just the size and the strength of this massive storm. It's a Quetzalcoatl storm where you have a pressure low or hurricane hooking up at the giant front. And then you got Sergio nailing Mexico near the volcano that has been erupting nonstop and moving through the United States. So I cannot stress enough that everybody needs to be prepared. I understand if you don't know the damage that has been done by Hurricane Florence or nonstop rain up the entire East Coast all year because the media is only focused on politics. But we're in bad shape and we got a lot of challenges to deal with. So I'm just asking that everyone be prepared. 
work together and let's handle this to get past the stormy areas and rebuild and build better things in the future. So I'm in it to win it and I'm here for you guys and I'll be monitoring this uh, obsessive compulsively. So if you appreciate Thor News and you can afford it, I would live off your contributions and donations. I'll leave my PayPal link. And I highly rec recommend Cranky Weather Guy's blog. <clears throat> he is the best weather person in the world I know of. Although the entire weather team is great. Twitter is the place to find the best up-to-date updates. And um, I will continue to come back with any major changes or with major model runs. So everybody stay cool. I love you. And thank you guys. You guys are always really great. No matter who. I appreciate you supporting me through my good times and my bad times because it's been the worst year of my life. And all those who are still with me, I, I really do love you guys and thank you. I appreciate it more than I express. Okay, everybody stay cool. And yeah, smoke them if you got them. Plus, dance, kiss, and try and be funny. Everybody loves laughter.